Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Humankind. This is the Lagrange Mittens playthrough, where we are currently the Zhou, um, and we've discovered the Babylonians, although they're very far away over here, uh, and the Olmecs, which are direct neighbors over here, and hopefully we don't come to blows too quickly. We do have new grievances, uh, possibly, over listening. here. I um, I could demand they give me this section, this, this territory that uh, they have claimed, um... But that will probably trigger the war, so we can't. We don't want to do that immediately. Can you, um. No, it's too expensive, although we're gonna to want to attach. We're gonna to want to attach, um, Karaka to the Grange Mittens. Um, we're one short. I think it was. Debate and discussion. 3.30, wasn't not it? The pastimes of the idle, but the actions of thinkers and movers who will touch yeah, yeah, every yeah. We're, we're good at ridding. civilization. Yeah, we're one short over here, which is a shame, because it's gonna help some of our districts and things. Uh, sailing, so we're four turns away from, I think, running out of tech? Unless there's one after sailing? No. We're gonna run out of tech after that. Um, it's possible we will end up, uh, we're two population away from, um, getting our final star here. It's possible we'll end up with a little bit of idle science, but, I mean, that feels disappointing, but really it's just because we're generating so much science. Um, okay, yeah, we'll be planning on grabbing that for Fang... 19. Yeah, I mean, seems reasonable. All right. Downside is that it's really close to the edge over here. But is there really... Is there really nothing almost as good? There's some 14s, 15s. 14 over here. I actually might just do... This tile here. Although there's going to be a fair amount of border crap, too. If I claim this one, I could consider building a Confucian school here real quick, but I don't think it's going to come up. I just don't like... We're going to be building kind of away from things this way. It's 19 versus 15, but it's a little bit more centered up. But is it centered in any way that's useful? I do like how it, it... I think we need the production boost in Fang. Well... You know what? I think I will plan on going here, actually. What's this event? Ah, yes. Lucky. And we did protect. Okay, what I want with you is I want you to start making our military units. I would like a... Well, we're gonna make maybe three, because we do have the warrior, which is a decent unit. But I want a full army of competence. Let's go. Three turns. I can attach you there. Sailing research. Oh, but we are going to go and do this attachment. Because that's going to do great things for Lagrange Mittens. Ein äußerst großzügiges Angebot. Yeah, I would love to trade everything with you. Um, do we have money to start this trade? I don't know about percentage science right now. We don't have scientists. That's just trade and we get some money. We might consider something like that. We also apparently could have gotten horses this way. Oh, we're going to do the uh, forced labor here. Which is a pretty easy decision to make. Uh, the stability is going to bounce back here fine. Um, yeah, it's currently not growing, but it, it will be helped by the flood irrigation. And then we need 230 to do an attachment over here. And hopefully our population will grow soon. Disbanding troops doesn't grow your population, because it does count all that. Um, so there's territory this over here. This emblematic unit thing. certainly appears to be ready to leave their mark on something. Well, there's our agrarian. Or someone. Oh, we got some aggro dudes over here, which is a bit annoying, but we know what we can do. You have added an independent people to your empire. Will the whole be greater than the sum of its parts? Did, uh, did we merge? Oh, we've got the reinforcement tech, so that's going to be okay. Do manual battle over here. Uh, it's going to suck that we're going to be on a river, but... But we're going to be fine. Was he going to 
flank me over here? Uh, maybe? Tell you what, I'm just gonna go and rescue two. You're always gonna do that. There you go, we'll do that. Pew. Pew. Um, you can't hit and run. I think what I'll do is I'll just move you back and put this unit here, and then just put you on guard. Yeah. Which seems fine. Excellent. Okay. Um, so, I think we want to air up because we have no science to do. So I think we're going to work on doing that immediately. Um, and then what are we looking for? I gotta say, Carthaginians over here, the Cawthon is actually pretty nuts. Um, we don't need, we don't need more science production, although we're, our science rate's gonna be pretty good, like getting the scientist star, um, is, is pretty nice. Plus it does give us the plus one era to research so we can go past our current category, which could alleviate certain things. Um, I would like to start doing more production. Uh, and the problem is we don't know where the iron is currently, so we can't actually make predictions. We know we've got copper, so theoretically we could do immortals. Um, that's a lot of city cap for free. And that's there forever and ever and ever and ever. Cyrus's shadow might be one of the strongest ones of these things that persist just because that city cap boost. Such a palace is fine. The stupa, again, more science if we wanted it. A little bit more influence going on there. You've got those stars. Um, what's nice about these units is you don't need any resources. And here, we need two iron. We don't even know if we have any iron. The war elephants need two copper. I might be able to trade an extra copper. I'm not sure. Whoops. Um, constructible buyout. I mean, I could build hoplites. Do we just double up on the, the science? The thing is, we should be able to get a good amount of fame from doing a lot of tech here. The thing is, what if we could also just um, stay as the, the Joe over here? All we would get is 10% additional fame. I mean, for the rest of the game, we'd get 10% more fame, um, which is nice, but not a big deal. It would let us build more Confucian schools. I don't know if that's good enough. We do have some coast, but not that much. Otherwise, I'd be really tempted to go as Carthage. The stupas do give a crap ton of influence. I might, I might just take this for the city cap. And we would be able to build immortals if we wanted to. Unit slot's pretty good. Lowered upkeep's pretty nice too. I mean, I don't know how much city cap we necessarily need. What has the best short-term bonus for us right now? I don't know. I mean, it honestly could be these elephants. They're, they're just death machines. They're 30 strength, range, but don't take penalties from fighting in melee. Good speed. The stupas aren't bad. Slightly cheaper to attach outposts. I think I'm going to go with these guys. And we just make, make massive elephant armies. Okay. So... I do have more troops now. Maybe we can do that. How do we look military wise? I bid you greetings in the name of my proud people. Okay, we're no longer considered weaker. I'm gonna put in a demand. You do understand. It is merely a question of land. Oh. <sighs> We can always go back to war. Yep. We'll give it another go. It was worth the risk. Because if the war started, we could 
hopefully do okay. Like, it was the expected value, there's a chance of getting the value. But now, there's not a chance of getting it for free. And then there's just war, which might be okay, but likely will be overall fairly costly. I don't think it's worth building these Confucian schools, although they do give you a crap ton of stability. There is that. Um, I'm wondering about animal barns, and then starting to slap down a bunch of farmers' quarters over here. Or maybe we can just start with the farmers' quarters. This is pretty good. We build one. Maybe we build two, and then we get the farming thing. Because if unless we had multiple horses. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Confucian school over here. Um, I think it'll cancel, right? I think we tested this. Maybe I should have stayed in this area, but we're out of tech. Long term, no, no, no. Let's see. Seuss, eight turns. Can't remember. Maybe we tested it in the beta. It might have changed as well. I think it's going to cancel this. So it will have wasted a turn of production. As yeah, Urban that's exactly Center, what happened. Looking for ideas? How about science and elephants? I'm going to keep, like, doubting. Like, maybe that's not how it works. No, that's how it works. There. Okay, you're moving forward. We're going to, uh... Get some troops over here. I think we're going to be coming to blows with the uh, the Olmecs one way or the other. And I can start on my stupas. True. Um, you have four districts currently. If I turn on the... We've got a farm, an industry, and a money market. It's not terribly enticing. This place could definitely use some more food, though. Actually, might want to wait you that way for now. I mean, this will get better as we build these bits. We farm down here, but the adjacency... Oh, let's attach... Yeah, let's attach you. That's actually going to be quite good to boost you. We can build a harbor in the lakes, but no. I know it's going to lose production over here. We do this, and then we get our irrigation going. Maybe I'll build the irrigation thing first. Because actually, the irrigation will give us a fair amount of food as is. The flood irrigation. And then it'll make those farms even more enticing. We'll start with this. Hopefully we don't get attacked on this flank, because that's going to be annoying. We're going to go to philosophy right away, because it'll give us our city cap. Which will make sure we keep getting our influence as quickly as possible. I do think that it should probably be a percentage of your overall influence or or scale based on how many cities you have, the penalty. Because early, like, minus 10 influence right now is actually pretty meaningful. But late game, minus 10 doesn't mean anything, so being one over your cap is not a big deal. On the other hand, maybe being one over your cap isn't a big deal, and that's just the way it, it can be. Um, I'm actually wondering about keeping you in this city for now. So, movement speed, money at a penalty for science or stability. We don't need stability, and the unexpected things could be bad. I'm actually wondering, we might just be able to take the money hit right now. Or, like, the, we can take the science hit for the money right now. Um, because we can actually use the extra cash. I don't usually hit that one, but I don't think that's a terrible thing, since our science is so high right now. Okay. So over here, Lagrange is quite big. That's expensive. We could attach this very quickly. Um, we can also attach a second one over here. Which, I think I'm going to attach Sormel, because we could choose to attach Rothold to Lagrange Mittens later on. And Sormel's population is getting pretty big, and we might run into food shortages over there. So let's get you going on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Babylon, you you're cool. You and actually, wise. with our money, let's, make it so. let's get a second horse. Oh, we can't. Because we do have the horse building in at least one city, if not two. So that'll be some more passive food. Now, oh, see, they're starting to maybe be cool. Yes, Alright. I'm going to disband the scout. This two stack, you're going to be told to merge into the city, please. I 
and you're gonna stay here. I don't like that we actually don't have active scouting, but... Uh... Wait, how come you're locked? Oh, because your path to go there. Okay, except you can't move. So I'm gonna do this. Because we don't actually have a non-aggression pact. Hmm. I'm actually thinking I should just keep slamming down some units. You know, we got, I mean, some chill here, but... Our money's definitely taking a hit, though. Our money taking, is taking a huge hit. And if I ignore that... Yeah, I don't think I can run a bigger army. God damn it. Okay, at least our food's going decently over here. We've got this. Now, I could rebalance things. You know, I could go to um, the public control, which I quite like. Uh, which actually might not be a bad idea. Again, food prioritizes. We start to get a little bit of science. Um, I don't need the House of Scribes yet. We could start slapping down these Maker's Quarters. Get more food over there. The stupas here don't generate a ton of food, but they do give you, us a lot of influence, and we do have an estate goal over here. And that would be adjacent to a, an indo, um, um, a maker's quarters. Hmm. Oh, is this woodland areas? Actually, we will start to benefit from... Eventually, we'll start benefiting from a lumberyard over here. I don't know how quickly... We do have a lot of farmers. I think I should just get down the granary. Let's start with that. Okay. Oh no, it, it's an actual city now, so we can't get in there without open, without open borders or declaring war. Now we could surprise war, but I don't think that's really what I want to do. Now, I could go and claim more territory, but I've also got some things to attach. Although, some things over here wouldn't be bad. I don't think I want to break up these armies. I think I want to keep them around here. We might just build a random other fast-moving army after this. The other thing we can do is get some walls up. Now, what is this train over here? This is all rocky fields, so if we got a stonework... That would dramatically increase the production of the city. I know your farm's not that great right now. Um, let's move you over here for a little bit of food. But that'll be a huge production boost. And then we Debate can maybe use and that to get more farmers' quarters. Not the pastimes of the idle, but the actions of thinkers and movers who will touch every aspect of civilization. So that fixes our city cap. you back and maybe leave you part like near Feng but ready to react to Lagrange Mittens? I don't know. I think I've got to keep units in here. Um, tech wise, our elephants are over in mounted warfare. I think I'll grab fortifications first and then go this way. I think that's going to be quite good. We might build the stone walls, if nothing else getting the citizens for our city defense wouldn't be a bad thing. It'd be nice if there was a notice, maybe, when you could do an attachment. Yeah, see, if I parked on the river over here, because we could follow the river into Lagrange Mittens if we needed to reinforce there. I think this might be a good position to park ourselves. I don't know, it's a little hard to say. Okay, there's our granary. So, yeah, the food is going really, really, really well over here. So, yeah, what becomes our priority? Well, you can go Palisades into the stone wall soon. Um, I think I do like this balance of things. Uh, we do have enough tech that getting the house of scribes, so the plus one science for researchers, or the schools, which is just... We do have two research quarters, and then when we build our stupas, um, they will also count as them. And lead to some adjacency.
think I'm going to build a school. What's our stability? Yeah, well, it's not perfect. It's not bad. I could boost it over 90 by building that. Um, I'm wondering about those palisades. I think I like the idea of building schools. Army composition, 100% I want the plus one combat strength. It ASAP does defense. seem logical that people shouldn't have to do a job unless they want to. Okay. We'll be able to start doing some more attachments soon. Built to last. New wonder can be claimed. I think I'd rather attach das. stuff. Das könnte euch gefallen. Yeah, man. Of course. And actually, oh, still looking to maybe buy horses. I mean, I could do a little bit of trading with these guys, but I think those trade routes might get broken pretty quickly from some warfare. What are we looking to do here? Oh, the stability is terrible. Let's get a public fountain right away. We could even consider building some garrisons to boost it more. But maybe what we do is we plan on getting a stone ring started in sus. Or a wonder, but... Um, we're going to hold on to this for now, but the plus one city cap thing will be very useful. Soon? I don't know how soon. How much would it cost to make a new city now? Yeah, over a thousand. Maybe when we get our elephants, and I don't know which one of our units can upgrade to elephants, or we just build a third army. But we might consider intentionally starting some war. Yeah, let's um, let's plan on getting a stone ring built over here in Sus. Um, the stone ring doesn't let us get the development. There might be advantages to have it bordering things, but I think mostly I want it... We're very unlikely to do any development right over here, so I think I'm going to do this. It's going to be in the borders of Sus, so it's going to give it the stability, which is going to be useful. And that's going to be okay. Patriotic is just build units a little faster. Plus one combat strength on all our units is really nice. Uh, or we could sell it for money. But could anger some people, which is a stability hit somewhere. I'm going to click Divide for the combat strength. We might not get to use it within those 10 turns. Or... You have my ear. Tell me what you wish to discuss. You and I can talk this through. I have no doubt. Or... That is going to help generate some grievance points towards us, some war support towards us. So I'm going to let this finish the, um, whatever that was in Lagrange Mittens, and then we'll help build the holy site. Yeah, I think war is definitely coming. At least we have a little financial nest egg, which is good. Working towards standing army. Uh, please help out with the stone rings. Thank you. Old Max feel differently about me. I bid you greet. They were condescending. They're not suspicious. Mwahaha. Our war sports lord now. Yeah, our war sport. When we go up to eighty, yeah, eighty, we can declare a legit war. And I strongly suspect that might happen here. Um, I don't like that we don't have defenses, other than our army. Oh, hello! Smite unbelievers! So now we have the Huns as neighbors. Raiders on horseback. We have a it's lot of mountain. We have a lot of river. To put up with them. I think the river stability is going to be the thing to do. It's going to be great throughout the game. Uh, let's go Hindu this time. Um, because you don't... So everything else scales to like huge numbers later on, except stability. Now, sometimes you end up with, like, tons of stability, but right now, we know we could already use it a little bit. Any army researched. Good. And we're going to put you on the river. Uh, you can't upgrade without iron. Which I don't suppose... Hello. From my people... And from myself. Okay. Um, Babylonians, we're good buddies. Do you have iron? Fine. No. That's too bad. 
I think I need to save some money for some upgrades and maybe um, be ready to support an oversized army. Okay, your stability is growing quickly now, which is great. Your city size is not growing very quickly, though. Um, you still don't have a ton. I might still go and just slap down an animal barn first, just to not take a stability hit. I don't do this. Or granary. Just for the plus two food for farmers. Maybe I'll start with this. I don't know. It's hard to tell what would be better. Religious rights. I think we're going to wait a second here. We might start war next turn. Oh! Sus, you're not actually helping the, your own production over here. Let me go ahead and throw that in. Which shape to turn off the holy site. Which is going to be good because we're going to want it for our units. And yeah, you can't do that. Do we start the war? Roth could be attached over here. You still got a couple possibilities. If I attach Roth to Feng, uh, Lagrange Mittens can still attack uh, attach Buna. On the other hand, this is probably much cheaper. But you're already a little low on stability. Feng, how's your stability? Yours is not stupid good either. Lagrange Mittens is fine, although it's too expensive to attach anything here yet. We could start and blow up this unit immediately. <clears throat> oh geez, look at the time. I gotta put a cut in here. Just good, because I'm gonna want to take a beat and consider. But I do think I like the idea of starting some war. And then as soon as this holy site is done, we're probably gonna make more units. I don't like the timing exactly, because we might not have anything sitting at home. But overall not so bad. And then if we can take a city, that would be just the dream here. Alright, folks. We're going to go ahead and put a cut. Uh, is, the, uh, is the cultural blitz? Spend money to get stars, which isn't what I want to do. I need to save my money right now. Um, I could spend some stars influencing these guys to bring them into the group. Uh, although, apparently, we've reached this threshold here. I don't know. We'll figure it out next time. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'm going to see you then. Bye-bye.